the morning. Go for a little walk at Mason's Falls area in the King Lake National Park. This morning, let's go for a little training walk. So I'm taking the slightly shorter version down the uh, track down to um, Mason's Falls picnic area where there's facilities. I think it's important when you're a middle aged continent old fart to have facilities when you walk, otherwise you're in a bastard bush with a Anyway, strip down a bit and being hit so far it's such an easy walk because you're heading down the hill on the tracks now. Right? So, oh, once you pass the falls things get a bit more interesting. So I just finished the first little hill after the fall. Breathing now. I was taking lots of little walking past the camera shots. And my tripod broke. Which is good. Because I was wasting so much fucking time. Anyway, it's just a, here we are. This way get you to um, quickly back to the car park but I'm going for the long way down the running trick track so next couple of k's downhill k or so downhill then along the creek for a few k's and then two k's are really hard up well hard for me let's move let the steepness begin don't know if that shows on the camera Oops. leaving that thorny nook and the first sort of place to stop down or pass down by the creek the creek's just over here you know I mean? um, so at this stage you're pretty much committed to the walk because if you turn back you got a big climb out and you keep going you got a, a bit of a walk and then a big climb out so And it's not flat either along the creek. First, straight away up a hill again, and they're not too bad.
I think I've said it before in a video I did here, the view isn't much, but it's still nice to be in the bush. Just leaving um, Hazel Glen, or no, Hazel Glen, Hazel Glade, about halfway roughly. Just up and down beside the river before we get to the fun bit. That's funny. I was thinking about, I don't know if I should talk, but I'll probably fall over and hurt myself. At least it'll make the video interesting. Um, how to make a good YouTube video, or just video for people to watch. When I started the video, so just for my wife, so she doesn't care, she knows, she just wants to laugh at me, which, or see what I'm doing. I provide laughs by slapstick, I keep falling over and hurting myself. But, um, yeah, I look at some videos for how you make them interesting. And either you put in a hell of a lot of work in cinematography, cin cinematic photography, and like I was trying to do the things like I was trying to do the tripod before, um, back and forth, but it's a hell of a lot of work. And frustrating. Or, I think some people just talk to the camera, but they must have a face for camera. Or, can turn it on for the camera, personality-wise. I don't think I'm one of them people. So, I think my videos will remain uninteresting. And just lots of huffing and puffing. Just a niche market for connoisseurs of fat, of who like watching fat guys huff and puff in the bush. Bit of an obstacle. Looks like everybody's going under. Fuck that. Right. This be interesting. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a bit of slapstick. Uh, I think you should have had a camera on me. I was doing the splits, getting caught a log up my ass. Bit of excitement. Shouldn't be too far away from the start of the climb out. Right -o. Made it to the start of the climb. Grab some water and then up we go. I know, time to face the music. Get up the hill here. The next two k's it can often take almost an hour. Hopefully, it's a bit less. Otherwise, I'm making pretty good time. Not exactly sure how much because I let the timer run a few times while it's filming, so it's all over the place. But feels like I'm all right. Let's go. Starting to puff. <laughs> Doesn't look steep at all. Oh well. Still need the worst bit. Another tree down. Let's see if I can have some slapstick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the splits count. Uh, made it to about halfway up the climb, a little bit of a zigzag or a switchback, and that sort of softened me up. And now the next bit is a bit of a steep bit, and it's easy. And then there's a what bit I find really hard. It's just it's probably not that hard or long if you're fresh. Just looking behind it. If you can see him, there's Karawongs playing in the trees. Probably can't see him. 
Oh, well. I'm surprised I haven't seen any live birds or heard any live birds. Usually frisky this time of year and up and about. First little climb down. I'll just get it a bit easier for a moment. And then the reason I do this walk, a fucking hard bit. Get my legs and lungs used to a steep climb. As the climb starts again, it's a bit civilised at first, but there's some zigzags and whatever, and I'm complaining a lot. I'm just an excuse to have a break. I might have a few photo breaks. I'll try it before I get to the top. Fuck. Fuck. Halfway up the bit that always gets me. Yes. Oh. Now back to the car. About half an hour away. Gotta sneak back on the right side of the road. There's a track just here, but it's a bit whatever. I can't be asked. Bushwalking. This is the easiest way back. Ah, it's better. Got my breath back. Just across the road. Oh, that's a dead wombat. Oh, smells. Hey there. He mangy or something. Not good. It's about the only wildlife I've seen a couple, a couple of birds. Something to see in a kidney or something. Alright, you can see the cars in the car park, so not far. No. You can see the glint, no, you probably can't see it. Anyway, not a bad little walk. I used about three and a half thousand kilojoules, but that Mac is me always probably close to that, so glad I was doing it for the exercise and not weight loss. Anyway, that's about it.